So now we're going to deal with something called uh, amortize or amortization. And all that means is that you're making regular payments to pay off a loan. So think about um, a mortgage. You would take out a certain amount and then you'd have to pay monthly installments until that mortgage is paid off. So that is, um, your loan is, is amortized so that you know exactly how much to pay over the life of the loan. So it's going to be the exact same thing as an ordinary annuity. So I have the present value is the money I pay regularly times 1 minus 1 plus R over N raised to the negative NT all over R over N. And in this case, it says find the payment necessary. So I'm looking for M to amortize an 8% low of loan of $1,400 compounded quarterly. Okay, so my present value is 1400. It's compounded quarterly. I'm looking for M and I've got one minus one plus my interest rate is going to be 8%. So I have 8% quarterly. And now this time they've told me what N and T are because they said I've made 14 quarterly payments. Okay, so instead of me taking the number of times compounding per year times the number of years I'm compounding, it went ahead and told me what that is. So this is going to be a negative 14. So don't look to multiply that times anything. And then I'm going to divide that by 0 0.08 over 4. So again, I'm going to find this answer first and then take 1400 divided by that answer and I'll be able to figure out what my payment is. Okay, so I have 1 plus. So 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4. And I'm going to raise that to the negative 14. I don't need parentheses this time because I'm not asking it to multiply. Okay, 1 minus that answer divided by 0 0.08 divided by 4. And I get 12.106 something. Okay, so I need to divide 1400 by that amount. Oops, sorry. Trash. All right, divided by that answer, and I get 115.64. So if I pay $115.64, I will have paid off everything that I need to pay off, okay, in 14 quarterly payments. All right, so find a monthly house payment necessary to amortize an 8.4% loan of $217,500 for 25 years. So I'm looking at paying off 217.5. That equals what does my monthly payment need to be? Okay, times 1 minus 1 plus, And I am doing 8.4%. So I have 0 0.084. Over 25 years, well, it doesn't tell me anything about, um, well, that's a lie. I was just going to be all philosophical and stuff and tell you that it's your mortgage payment, which is monthly, but it says monthly. All right, so I'm doing this for 12 months out of the year. I'm doing it for 25 years, so negative 12 times 25. So remember, you'll have to use parentheses there. Okay, over that little mess right there. So 0, 8, 4 over 12. So I'm going to figure out this stuff and then do 217,500 divided by that. Okay, so I've got 1 minus. No, I don't. I have 1 plus 0 0.084 divided by 12. I get 1.007. I'm going to raise that to the parentheses, negative 12 times 25. Okay, do 1 minus that answer. Divide that answer by, and you remember, use parentheses, 0 0.084 over 12. And now I know that this portion in the hard brackets is 125.23, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I need to take 217,500 and divide it by that amount. So I find out that my monthly payments are $1,736.74. Okay. Um, hang on one second. Okay, so just for fun, when you pay that back, if this is your monthly payment, okay, because remember this is your present value of your loan. If you're at 8.4% interest, 
on your mortgage, which is extremely high. All I did was take this monthly payment times 12 months times 25 years. You're going to end up paying the bank back $521,000. Okay, so you are more than double or just about doubling. Sorry, you are more than doubling. You are more than doubling what you took out because your interest rate is so high. Anyway, here we go. All right, so find the monthly payments. So you can do that one. Let me see if there's gonna be some weird stuff. All right, so find the monthly payment and estimate the remaining balance. Assume interest is on the unpaid balance, okay? So what I have is, um, I am going to use the exact same formula that we've been using. Okay, I wonder if you've noticed a, a, a pattern so far. So I want to find the monthly payment and estimate the remaining balance. Okay, I'm going to assume the interest is going to be on just the unpaid balance. So I'm going to take out a six-year computer loan for $3,500 at 4.7%. And I want to know the remaining balance after two years. Okay, in other words, I'm going to pay for two years. What's left? Because I've still got four more years to go. So that's what I'm looking for. So I've got a six-year computer loan. This is an expensive little computer. $3,500 at 4.7%. Um, and I want to do, um, hang on. It's not telling me how often to compound. All right, so we'll figure it out. All right, so I'm at 4.7%, uh, okay? So I am going to use P equals M times one minus one plus R over N raised to the negative nt, all over r over n, okay? All right, so when I start subbing these values in, um, I am going to, oh, it says monthly payment. Good heavens to Betsy. So this is going to be monthly. Why does that word escape me? Probably because I'm looking for numbers. All right, it says monthly payment, so we're doing this monthly. All right, so what do I have? My present value is I want to take out a $3,500 loan. I need to know the month or the payment that I'm making, the money that I'm spending. I've got one minus one plus my rate, which is 0.047. I'm paying on it monthly, the word, not the number. All right, negative NT. So negative N is going to be 12 times per year times six years. And I'm hoping already that you're thinking that this is a horrible investment. All right, so 0 0.047 over 12. Why is it a horrible investment? Because you're investing $3,500 that you're paying off over six years. And this laptop isn't even going to last that long. All right, that's why. Okay, so what have I got so far? What I have so far when I start entering this stuff is I'm going to do 1 minus 1 plus all that mess. Okay, so I've got 1 plus 0 0.047 divided by 12 is, so I've done this part raised to the, in parentheses, negative 12 times 6 is, and it thinks I'm going to divide, oops, sorry, holy cow, stop it, clear. All right, so 1 minus that answer, okay, so I get 0.2453 divided by this, in parentheses, over 12, and now I get 6263 something, so I need to divide 3500 by that. So 3,500 divided by that answer is going to give me $55.88 per month. Okay, so $55.88 per month. Okay, that's how much I'm going for. Now, what I need to know from here is what's going to be left at the end of two years. So at the end of two years, that means I've made 24 payments because it's 12 payments per year for two years, okay? So what am I going to do from here? What we are going to do is calculate um, what's left on the loan, okay? So what's left on the loan, I've already paid 24, okay? How many payments am I making? Well, 12 times 6 is 72, okay? I'm supposed to make 72 payments, so 72 payments minus the 24 payments I've already made is I've got 48 payments left. Okay, I've got 48 payments left. 
Now, what we can do is think about this balance as the future value of an annuity with 48 monthly payments of 5588. Okay? So what I have is my actual future value is going to be and we're going to put A for the amount that I'm going to achieve is my payment. So this is from a from a different section. So it's in that stuff that I typed up for you. Okay, so I have the payment of 5588 times 1 minus and then guess what we're going to do? Okay. 1 plus your rate over 12 raised to the negative NT, which is going to be negative 48, because that's how many payments I got left, all over this little thing right here. Okay. And it's actually, a, it's the same thing that we've been doing the whole time. All right. So I have 1 plus 0 0.047 over 12. Okay. Raise that to the negative 48 power, subtract it from 1, divide it by 0 0.0747, sorry, 0 0.047 over 12, and now take that times 5588. And we find out that we've got $2,440. $2,440. $2,440 and 85 cents left to pay. Okay, that's how much we got left to pay. All right, so um, let's see what else you got. Okay, so this one you've got a table, which you can do. That one you've got a table. Okay, so you are going to. All right, so these last ones are pretty much the same setups. So just email me if you're stuck, okay? Uh, just email me if you're stuck. So that's going to be it for this section. Um, you know what my email is if you are stuck on one, and I can help walk you through it. And otherwise, you are ready to take your Chapter 5 test.